Hello everyone. Today our topic is Python classes. Python is an object-oriented programming language. An object is a collection of data, variables, and methods, functions that act on those data. A class is a blueprint of that object. Class creates a user-defined data structure, which holds its own data members and member functions, which can be accessed and used by creating an instance of that class. So when we create, for example, a class a student, and after that, we create as many objects for this class as required. Each student will be an object or instance of the class student. To create a class in Python, we use the keyword class followed by the class name. So here the class student is created. After that, we may create different objects or instances for this class, student one, two, etc. Now we can assign values to different fields for each object. For example, ST1 number 112, name Sami, average 70.1, and in the same manner, another data for student two. If we print student one, then the output will be student one is a class, print st2.name will print Ali, and st2.average will print 74.4. So from the program, according to this statement, class main.st will be printed after that Ali 74.4. Class methods must have an extra first parameter in the method definition. We do not give a value for this parameter when we call the method. In Python, we may use the diff init method, which is similar to constructors in C++ and Java. Usually, all classes have the diff init function, which is always executed when the class being initiated. This function is called every time the class being used to create a new object. We use it to assign values to object properties or other operations that are necessary to do when the object is being created. Here we have num, name, average, self.num equal number, self.name equal name, and self.average equal average. Now we can create objects, st1, st2, and assign values to the variables. So 112 will be assigned to st1 number, sami to st1 name, 70.1 to st1 average. ST1 and ST2 are different instances. So if we print ST1, ST2, we'll have two objects stored at different memory locations. Print ST1.name will result in SAMI, ST1.average in 70.1. So if we run the program, here as you see, the two instances of the class student are stored in different memory locations. After that, according to this statement, we'll have here Sami 70.1, and according to this statement, we'll have Ali 75.4. Creating new object instances of the class is called instantiation. We can access the attributes of objects using the object name prefix. Attributes may be data or method. Methods of an object are corresponding functions of that class. You can think of a class as a prototype. It contains any details we want about the class. We can create as many instances or objects of the class as we need. This was a quick introduction, how to create a class in Python, how to declare its variables, how to create instances and objects, assign data to them, and how to access this data. For today, that's all. Thank you.